Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Crowns and Sashes. Today I'm talking to the lovely Heather. Hope you're well. Could you tell us when you are competing and your title, please? So I'm currently Miss Dasher International, so I'll be representing Sashes in July in the previous Miss International UK pageant. Excited, not long. I know, it literally absolutely flown by from obviously due to COVID and everything. We've had that obviously a long time and over a year there, but now it's like, oh my gosh, it's three it's months. <laughs> How has your preparation been in the build up through the pandemic to competing, well, not through a pandemic or the appearance you could get in to now it's just mainly online, isn't it? Yeah, so obviously over the pandemic and COVID, it has been difficult to, um, I think it is just keep motivated. I've yeah. been lucky enough to work all the way through, so I kept my job. Um, but then through the pandemic, it's actually given me more time to prepare and it's given me opportunity. So I've um, made my own charity, called it Stand By Stand Up, um, which yeah. supports people who have been through domestic abuse. Um, so I raised money through doing that um, on merchandise and I'm currently being trained to provide proper support for them and with the knowledge um, that I can advise. Um, so the negative of the pandemic, I haven't been able to see any of my friends um, and family. The positive is that obviously it's given me more of an opportunity, more time yeah. for the finals. It's just made you think a bit more outside of the box, hasn't it? Rather than, oh, I can go here, I can do this, I can meet up with so-and-so. It's like, oh, OK, I, I can do that, but just not yet. Yeah, most definitely. And with everything going back to normal. Normal, like, yeah. <laughs> um, it's lovely to hear, obviously, that pageants are being going ahead um, and that they slowly will be, obviously, with the precisions in line. Yeah. But... Yeah, honestly, I can't, I can't wait to see people like. I know, I'm very excited. <laughs> it's going to be like a whole new world to everyone, isn't it? I think we'd, we're all just going to be like, oh, can I hug you? Can I not? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I know, it's going to be like that, isn't it? Do you yeah. have a platform? Yes, yeah, so uh, what I touched on before, so it's mainly, um, it's a whole charity based, like I've registered right. it. So it's called Don't Stand By Stand Up. So through obviously the pandemic, like I say, I've had time to. And it's something that's very close to my family. Um, it's very close to like friends of my family as well. So obviously I thought, what is the best thing that I can? I think the more that you can relate to something, the more that drives your passion. Yeah, definitely. So when um, I created Stand By Stand Up, it just went from like exceptionally quick. From it was which just, is brilliant. <laughs> it was just an idea that um, I'd written down you know what, why not? And I just went full force with it. We made our first donation last month to Women's Aid from the Merc that we've sold. Um, like I said, I've got sessions so I could be a full, um, I can advise people and give that support that's needed. Obviously, yeah. we're legally binding, so it's safe. It's a safe um, area for me to support them. Um, and I've got some exciting things coming up. Uh, I was just gonna ask what can we join in with? <laughs> yeah so um, with the merchandise I'm going to be launching a website so then it's just easier for people to order it. Yeah. All proceeds go to Women's Aid and Refuge. We are right. we don't make any money from the charity at all. Obviously anything that's bought pays for obviously the merchandise and then anything yeah. goes straight to Women's Aid. Um, like I do post proof of that and just yeah, in case anyone's worried about where the money goes um so yeah i'll launch the website soon that's uh, very exciting yeah uh, very exciting very nervous but very exciting oh no, it's brilliant it's really good <laughs> um and i've got a session with a videographer soon so we'll be talking all about the charity um how people can get involved and even um i'm working with the city council so that pageant girls and um just general public friends and family can get involved and even like have the knowledge and have the training sessions that yeah. if somebody in that circumstance they know how to advise properly. Excellent I look forward to seeing that. Um, what made you first enter a pageant? So I've always suffered from anxiety being a major thing uh, throughout like high school onwards. I still do today I'm not saying like I've got a cured and no. You know, <laughs> um, 
so when I was 18, um, well, 17, just turned 18, I saw an advertisement on Facebook for a local local Miss Prom supermodel, Staffordshire. And I thought, why the heck not? Why not? Just see how it goes. It's the experience. And it was there to help my confidence. Yeah. Build. Um, and I went on to win it and I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then since then, just, yeah, the rest is here. Just fell in love with it and couldn't stop. <laughs> it's definitely a bug, isn't it? Once you start like, dipping your toe in, you're like, yeah, definitely. I love this. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> well, let's find an excuse to buy like five dresses this week. <laughs> I give my husband little fashion displays on dresses. He's like, they all look the same to me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I like send them to my partner. He's just like, all right, okay. I'm just like, yeah. How much is that one? I'm just, yeah, how much is it first? <laughs> oh, oh it, it, it was very cheap. I got it off eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone ever questioned why you take part in pageantry? Um, sadly, when I was in six so that's when I started pageantry. Um, it affected my friendships. Um, right. They didn't understand. I think they thought that I was this with my boots, or that I yeah. was like I was a like, supermodel, and you know what I mean, like I was them or something. And that is not what. And yeah. it's I was doing it, but I think people don't understand. And I they think, don't understand it. I think that's the main problem, isn't it? They just Whenever I've said pageant, they go, oh, you go in a bikini on a stage. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I do. But it's not quite just that. <laughs> I, I just think that they just got this. This persona of that it's, oh, you've got to be you've got to be tiny and you've got yeah. to you've got to think you are the best thing in the world. And I'm like thinking, well, yeah, it's amazing for co like confidence. But it's amazing. Of course. People, for, for goodness sake, like through pageant, I've met people from all over the UK, some people from like different countries just because of pageantry. Exactly. And I just don't think that people still have the full understanding of why they do it. And the thing is, it's not just about shutting, shutting up and down on stage. Don't get me wrong, that's amazing. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but all the hard work that goes behind it, like with yeah. helping the community. And I don't think that people actually understand it until I sit there and speak to them and go, you know what, the pageant community I'm a, what, like that I'm with raised X amount of money in the last exactly. like, oh, we didn't realise that. So I think it is just a lack of education with it. Most definitely. And I also get because I'm quite small, well are you tall enough to do things like that? And like there's no restrictions on anything. You don't need to look a certain way. There's no height, there's no colour of your hair, there's no eye colour. It's you can be whatever, can't you? And that's right. another amazing thing about it and bringing everyone together. But yeah. yeah, you do you do get the raised eyebrows to start with, don't you? <laughs> yeah, sadly so. But I'm just like, uh, I'm I'm move I, on. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> do you have a role model? I do. It may sound a little bit. My mum. My mum is like, she is like my best friend. Uh, we've been through a lot together. Um, we still are, and she is part of the reason why I started my campaign as well. Um, and she. She's literally, like, sadly, obviously, I don't know her anymore, but she's literally, like, don't call away every morning. She'll text me, like, morning, you okay? Like, even though we don't know her, and we literally see each other pretty much every day. And just, oh, I won't touch upon everything, but she's been through a lot, like, through her life. Yeah. And if I have the strength and charisma that she has, and she is part of the reason why I got the confidence to go into and she will literally, if I say anything about myself, she will grind me down in the <laughs> my daughter that, you know what I mean, we don't have that. So, yeah, she she is my absolute model and everything. Sometimes when you go through something hard in life with your mum or your dad, it does make you have such a stronger relationship, doesn't it? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. And finally, what is your favourite memory from Pageant Land? So my favourite memory from Pageant Land, I think it's when I first started, to be honest. Um, my first director was Debbie Hughes. Um, right. And I went to my first ever set 
from our campus. And I'm a dancer anyway, uh, but I was just like, this is a whole different kettle of fish. So I was yeah. walking blind thinking, oh my gosh, like, feels high enough. Or... <laughs> <laughs> and I started walking and she went, if you should go. And I was like, uh, no, no. <laughs> and I think that's what it is all like, thanks to her that pageant that drove me to where I am today and everything yeah. that I've been successful with, everything I've achieved through pageantry and I think that is one of my most favourite memories, that is the start of this. Where part, it began. Where it, where it began and I just can't believe how much I've achieved, how much I've come on. Like if you told me that I would be sitting here today talking to yourself or in a pageant interview when I was like 17 I would have gone Nah, not me. <laughs> and then I don't even give me any, it's like a second name. Now, I don't even think yeah. it. It's lovely. Well, thank you very much for chatting with me today and the very best of luck. I will be following your journey though, so thank don't worry. <laughs> I'll be cheering you on. <laughs> but hopefully I will speak to you soon. I hope so too. You take See care. See you later. Bye.